Hey guys, before the video starts, I highly suggest you to go watch the first episode of my Nuzlocke run so you understand the point of the video. Thanks for watching, much love. So after a retreat far back with my team, remembering all the members that we have lost in the battle, we decided to go back and face our future, whether it's dark or bright. We decided that we were gonna go until we make it or die. We go back in that cave and the place feels kinda haunted with the souls of our dead friends that fought for us in need for revenge. We pass by the Team Rocket League lady that got our sweet Kesha looking at us giggling, knowing that she left a big hole in our heart by getting him. After that, we also passed by the other Team Rocket member that got our Pomo. We will revenge you guys. We arrive close to this guy with two fossils laying in the ground. We get apprehended by him that we should keep off our hands from the fossils and challenge us to a fight. He sends out a gulpin. We open up with Hazard. After three water guns, his gulpin is gone. Next up is Slowpoke. We switch back to Zaki Town. We send a Razor Leaf, leaving him mid HP. He decides to switch the chinchu who gets hit by another razor leaf it should be an easy task and it was easy we get him we get to pick a fossil we get two choices either we get the dome fossil which contains a kabuto or we take the helix fossil which contains omanite we decide that we are getting kabuto up ahead comes another challenge for us we climb the stairs and in front of us an admin of the team rocket who goes by the name of Archer. He says that he's surprised that a kid is causing this much trouble to team rocket. They came here to claim all the fossils of Mount Moon. With all the money collected from the fossils they could build hospitals, roads, laboratories and that the region of Kanto would prosper. He doesn't want to reveal more and decides it's time to fight with me. He opens up with Impidim. Hazard is in the front line but I got the idea to switch to Broken since he has Metal Claw learned. We switch to him and hit him with a Metal Claw that chunks him very hard leaving him with a third of his hp he paralyzes us but we decide to stay and throw another metal claw it hits already one pokemon down he sends his Ondor on the field we switch back to hazard two water guns and his second pokemon is gone only one to go gold bat is sent we decide to send sheep he chunks us a bit but sheep we throw two thunder shock and then the gold bat uses poison fang and poisons us leaving sheep in a bad situation we have to make a choice and we decide to send hazard because we believe in him he is going to tank it for us we get hit by a poison fang and we decide to throw a water gun. If we're not lucky, Hazard could die. If we get crit, hit it. But there is no way, right? Golba is faster than us, hits the poison fang, leaving us at 12 HP and poisons us. But Hazard throws the water gun, finishing off the gold bat. We made it. We revenged our fallen friends from this cave. We can leave this place at peace. Our gone friends thank us. We can move on. We arrive at Route 4, meaning that we can catch a new Pokemon. And we get Stunky. Not really the Pokemon that we were hoping for, but we'll take it anyway. Make it Cerulean City. We go to the Pokemon Center. To drop down Spinarak in the box and take Stunky. And after a quick wandering around the city, we make the most terrible mistake of the run. Getting too close to the Nugget Bridge. Huh? Fuck! I forgot the rival hits us first! resulting in launching the battle against the rival unprepared the fight is going to be hard but i believe in my team he opens up with pidgeotto i have sheep standing in front of him we throw a thunder shock but he's faster than us decides to use wing attack and gets paralyzed in return this should be easy we hit the thunder shock leaving him low hp we throw another one and wipe him off the ground his next pokemon is radicate the memories of my fallen friends come back telling me to be careful i decide to throw a thunder wave to paralyze him the radicate is faster than me and hits a big hyper fang leaving Leaving sheep at 3 HP. It is time to send Broken. We send him and he also gets hit with a devastating Hyper Fang, leaving him at mid HP. We decide to throw a Rock Smash, but this Radicate is mega tanky. Luckily for us, he misses his Hyper Fang. We decide to switch back to Hazard. We also lost two thirds of his HP. It is really looking desperating. We send Stinky Fur in the battle and throw two smoke screens so we may have a shot at getting him without getting hit by his devastating move. After that, we use Fur Swipes. We hit him four times, leaving him really low HP. But then Sticky Fur gets hit by a lethal Hyper Fang. Zaki Town joins the fight and throws a Razor Leaf, finally getting him. The rival sends his Ivasaur. We have to tank a bit with Zaki Town, who throws a feigned attack, almost taking half his life off. But we get hit in return with a huge sludge, leaving Zaki Town way too low to stay in battle. Now the moment is really desperate because we have to sacrifice somebody to at least get a chance to get the rival. We choose to sacrifice Fish Boy and he gets one shot. This is not good. We send back Zaki Town, who sends another feigned attack before getting killed by Ivasaur. Broken is sent back who is also killed. Only Hazard and Sheep are left standing. We send Hazard desperately. Hazard hits first with by getting the Ivasaur. The thing is he still has one Pokemon left. Kadabra. He sends it and he is faster than Hazard. He gets hit by a shockwave. Sheep is left alone gets hit by a Psy Beam crushing all our dreams of making it to the Indigo Plateau with our friends.
After this harsh defeat, we decide to go back in our hometown to meditate and reflect on all our choices that led to this terrible turn of events with our Pokemon team. Until one day we wake up with a call from our fallen friends asking us to not give up, to keep going, their spirit will live on them. We decide to listen to their calls and assemble a new team, a new hope. So we start the adventure once again, we get Hazard. The second Pokemon we catch is a lit Leo that we are going to call Sekhmet, a goddess name for a goddess Pokemon. In Route 20 the stars align because we catch the Nidoran, which we are going to call Godsend. In Viridian City, like a little sign from somebody, we get Kesha, like he wants to have revenge. Up ahead in Route 2 North is an old friend that wants to join us, Jackie Town. Do you also start to believe that this team could do wonders? Me too. In the forest, we get a Morlul, not the best, but we will work things out. After some EXP grind and some evolutions, we are back in front of Brock, which is a formality with the team we have. We swipe him, we make it to Mount Moon, and we got a revenge to take with this Rocket team member. She sends out her Eradicate and our godsend is just staring at the Eradicate full of anger after I told him what he did to Kesha the other time. Two double kicks and the fight is over, asserting dominance on this Team Rocket member. We get to Archer and beat him with no real issue. Now comes the time to fight our nemesis, the arrival of Nugget Bridge. After some quick strategy and newcomers to the team, Fishboy and Candle, we decide that it is time. We approach the Nugget Bridge ready, the arrival comes and the fight begins. He opens up with this Pidgeotto we send Hazard, we throw a devastating rock tomb leaving his bar to red. He sends the move Twister that basically tickles us. We send the move Bite but the rival decides to switch back to Radicate and gets hit by Bite leaving him at mid HP. But the Radicate is faster than us and he uses his Hyper Fang on Hazard, the rock tomb is sent and Radicate faints. Pidgeotto is sent back, we throw Godsend in a battle who gets hit by a wing attack only losing 14 HP. We use rock tomb, his Pidgeotto is down, two Pokemon down. He sends his Kadabra, we decide to sacrifice Kendall so we get some free turns. We send Zyakitan who has the move Faint Attack that is super effective against Kadabra. We throw it and we just obliterate Kadabra. One hit KO. Last but not least, his Ivasaur. Sekhmet is sent, we get hit by Sludge and we get poisoned. We throw an Incinerate, but the Ivasaur sends another Sludge killing the goddess Sekhmet. We will never forget you. We decide to send Godsend to finish the job. One Rock Tomb and it's over. We finally beat him. It's always hard to lose Pokemon in a Nuzlocke because you can really Really feel a bond being created because you can't heal them once they're gone so it forces you to be extra careful with them we thank candle and especially Sekhmet for the work they have done for us we reach the nugget bridge and after some easy fights we reach the last pokemon trainer who's a team rocket member we beat him easily after some quick fights after the Nugget Bridge, we see Misty with another girl looking at some water type Pokemons. Until we interrupt them and Misty is so pissed that she literally calls us a pig. Didn't expect that, but okay. After that, we see a lady with some funny looking hair. We decide to talk to her and she wants to fight with us. And here, I make the mistake that will cost us everything. We start the fight and I see that all my Pokemons are not full life. Is is dead. I forgot to heal. I for... I forgot to heal. I forgot to heal, man. No, 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 dude. I forgot to heal. I fucking forgot to heal, man. Yeah, we forgot to heal. And we lose each and every single one of our Pokemon. I will need some strength from you guys to keep going after this. It is going to be hard. I'll catch you guys in the next one.